percentage of time. Um, and so if you can define a unit of measure, you can portion out and document if we haven't said the word document enough, I think that's gonna be our most recurring word. It's even more popular than allocation. If you can document how you controlled that measurement and can define that usage. So in that last one, it could be equipment that's used per hour of time. It could be on your, um, if you're making survey, no one makes copies anymore, right? It's really hard to use that example, but if you've got a copy machine which runs and keeps a log of how many pages you're running to send out surveys to participants, um, things like that where you can document the actual unit of measure used, and then you can also document any unused portion. And I think that's important to remember is that sometimes you have to um, document both that which is directly related to your project, but in order to create a denominator, you also need to document that which is done, which does not benefit your project. Um, and making sure you have all of that and making sure you can understand what that unit of measure is, that is how you get to actual usage. And again, that is a unit of measure, right? Very vaguely defined. We think in terms of hours, in numbers, if you're buying 100 pipettes, how many did you send off to one project? How many are you using for another? How are you putting away for a rainy day? And again, that one might be the unused portion that's institutionally supported. So if we go to that next slide, we're gonna start looking at a scenario. Now, you're gonna have to get out a pen and paper because you're about to do math. And that's the thing about allocation. It's math-based. Um, so in actual usage, I'm gonna read through this whole example. We're gonna give you a couple seconds to use your calculator and then we're gonna pop up a poll in a minute um, so that you've got some choices. And we have a couple different things. It's everything's out of 10,000. So you've got a lab and a project that is using $10,000 of supply over a lab computer system. So any supplies used related to that, um, you have to, buy services, things like that. And it's only used for projects A and B. And the reason we gave you the word solely there is because we don't wanna introduce confusion with, oh, well, how much is being unused? How much is going to project C? We're just only talking about the lab computer system being used for project A and B and nothing else. It is dormant the rest of the time. Um, the computer operating system keeps a log of users and their time in the system. Right, so now we have, we've identified our unit of measure. We've got time in the system and we can tell that here is what the, the report spit out one day. Project A has 120 hours of combined user time and project B has 80 hours, okay, during that month. Cost a month is 10,000. You've got 120 hours on A and 80 hours on B. And so the question is, how much would you devote cost-wise if you had to portion out your $10,000 to project A? So I'm gonna ask for the poll to be popped up because people have been using their calculators furiously. There's, we're sharing the poll. And so you have to select one. Are we putting $4,000 to project A, 5,000, 6,000, or all 10,000 to project A? So I can tell you that the resounding 89% is indeed the preferred answer of 6,000. Um, to walk through the math really quickly, if you remember project A had 120 and project B had 80 hours, that makes a 200, 120 plus 80, 200 hours of use. If you take the 10,000, divide it by the 200 hours, that's $50 an hour. And then you'd turn around and multiply that by the 120 hours on project A.